Morning, everybody. Welcome to another weekly roundup of Webby Sports Roundup. It is Football Focus. Remember that BBC one many years ago? Lovely, good programme. Listen, it was good before it went woke, mate. <laughs> right, yeah. Listen, listen. You know the I mean? man's back. He had a week off. We give we give him a week off for Easter, taking his kids and Vicky out and what have you. Happy birthday for yesterday, Vicky, darling. And me big man, Sai. Never right, lets me be. down. How are you, son? All right, mate. Lots All right, to talk about. Good. Okay. Thank you, um, Timothy Down, yes, Tim. living Thank with you. MS Tenerife for pressing. He's going to come round and say hello, now, ain't you? Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Yeah, hello. good. Yeah, good boy. Say no more, son. All right. <laughs> give Christine my biscuit, please. I will. Right. Another edition of Webby Sports Roundup. This is Football Focus, Football Weekly, whatever you want to call it. We're in, yeah, <laughs> we're in the sun of Tenerife. Look at this. Not Eight a, not a close. Shut up. Yeah. Not a, he's back, Eddie. Not a cloud in the sky. Liverpool, they're going to win tonight. Uh, uh. So this, right, this is what we're going to be talking about. If you haven't subscribed to my sports channel, it is for free. Absolutely gratis. Don't cost you nothing. Likes. Do that little tick, and I've got a Facebook page, which is me pal Foggy, who's a massive Tottenham fan for his sins. He puts all the bits and pieces on for me. Webby Sports Roundup. Right, it's Thursday. Today's the day we talk about football, football, and football. And we're going to start off in the Championship. I thought you going to talk about football. Yeah, <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, he's had a week off and he's straight back in it. So he shut up, you map it, get out of it. So me and Simon had a real good one last week, didn't we? Enjoyed it, didn't we? Yeah, but we did miss Terry. To yeah, I know. Yeah, shut, don't tell him that. All right, sorry. Just because I told you not to tell him. You sorry. know what I mean? He's so sorry. relaxed, isn't he? You know what I mean? He's horizontal, isn't he? Look, yeah, look at him. Arms folded. He don't bring any notes. You got notes. I got notes. It's all up here, mate. It's all in his head. It's all up here. He, yeah, yeah. There's it's nothing in up his in his head. head. Right, it's we're, all up here. Right, we're going to start off in the championship, all right? With my boys, Coventry. Oh, God. Started great on the Friday. Finished up Monday. Absolutely awful. Right, you saw any championship games over, uh, yeah, over Easter? I did. I did. I watched Ipswich... Southampton, which I was a great game. Yeah. I watched... Um, that was a Leic Monday. Let's go back to the Friday. Friday, Friday. Easter Friday. Easter Friday, I did I did have a look. I did have a look at them. The Bristol City Leicester, that was quite a bit of a shock. That was a shock, right? Yeah, but we we did say last week when we were talking that the, Bristol City, they can do it. Yeah. It all depends which they side of the bed they get up, They can turn up yeah. or they can turn off. Yeah, yeah, they can. But uh, Leicester you, were awful. They were, they were shocking they were shocking I watched quite a bit of that game because it was the early kickoff. Yeah. and yeah. I thought they were poor Leicester yeah, 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 yeah. I thought they were poor they were did um, second game Southampton against the Borough and then the Borough our man Kevin right? well Not I said to him I was going to watch it I, I did message Kevin yeah. and said I'm going to watch it but it wasn't it wasn't a great game no okay but, no, but what I'm saying is it was a it point a at game. St Mary's and the Borough they're yeah. all young kids See they, you haven't, they haven't got sorry they haven't got a big side there. No. Uh, they haven't got big money. No. They're not spending. And I think they've done superb. I really, really do, the Borough have. But where they were, if you go back 10, 12 games ago, yeah, they was yeah. right up there. Yeah, yeah. And then they just they just lost it a bit, you know. But listen, they'll be okay. They ain't going to go down, are no, they? They're not no. going to pull up no trees and they're not going to get They're not going to get rid of They're not going to win the league. No. And right? they're, they're the bottom possibility of a playoff possibility if you have a good run but they haven't got the squad to bring in no. to replace if top no, players they, get injured they need such and that's a good what happened run, yeah. um, Blackburn Ewood Park home to Ipswich they've had a bad run uh, Blackburn. Blackburn they lost their uh, main man Diaz last year didn't they yeah. um, and now he's scoring goals for Sheffield United but yes not many but not he's scoring tonight, hopefully. no it won't be tonight that's for sure it will um, I hope so. yeah okay now Ipswich you've got to give them their due haven't you? They just keep battling and they, they have a bad do you result know, do, you know what it is, do you know what it is for, for, for me, with them for me is where they've come from. Yeah. Mm. Is where they've come from. So they come from League One yeah. to the Championship, yeah. right? Yeah. And now they're playing like, like they would in the Premier League. They're yeah. playing yeah. these games up for 100 minutes because they're scoring such late goals. Late goals. They play right and to they the 90th they play yeah. till the last whistle. Like everybody should. Yeah. Like everybody should. Yeah. <clears throat> but you know, they, they, but they're scoring and they're winning the games. Yeah, that's the thing. They're winning them. Yeah, 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 for sure. They're scoring late and winning. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be nice to them back in the uh, top league because it reminds me in the 70s and 80s. Mick Mills. Yeah. 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 Can you, can Talbot. Can, can, John Wall. Yeah, I was going to say, come on, make, name Muren, a couple You remember, yeah. Muren, Tyson. Cooper the, Cooper the goalie. Cooper, Cooper the goalie, wasn't he? Remember? Yeah. He wasn't a big boy, was he? He was little. Paul Mariner. Paul Mariner. John Wall. We just said number 10. Liverpool. Great player. David Johnson. 
Then, yeah, number he 10. He went there for a little while, didn't he, David Johnson? He, he went yeah. come from there to you. Yeah, he went to Everton and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Paul Good Mariner, player. he went to Plymouth went, as a manager. Arsenal. Eric Gates. Yeah, yeah. Eric Gates. Gates, oh, little, little team, team gummy bear. Gatesy. Yeah. Look like gummy yeah, yeah. bear. What a team Good that side. What a team what a that Alan Brazil. Alan Brazil, yeah. that's it. Oh, yeah, talk sport, yeah. That's a quality yeah, show, yeah, isn't they, it? They're a good side. Bobby Robson, yeah, yeah. the manager. I thought you didn't like um, talking about championship football. They were a proper league team then, weren't they? Who's the one who went to you? Mariner and Talbot. Brian Talbot. Who's got in the Played cup? Played number four. Talbot, yeah. Brian Talbot. Talbot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Played number four. Or six. Number four. Yeah, yeah. four he, he, it was like, I used to say when I was at school, that he had three lungs. Because yeah. the geezer didn't stop running. No, he didn't. He ran and ran and he ran he and ran. He didn't stop, mate. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll watch a little bit uh, later on. Watford, Vicarage Road, on to Leeds. Again, Watford, plenty of money, spend money. They have managers every two weeks. Oh, uh, they have a manager every two weeks. You think, he goes there, he thinks, I'm going to get sacked in a couple of weeks. I'll get a lump sum, put it in my pocket, and I'll have a couple yeah. of months off down in the Caribbean. Well, they were saying that last night about Edwards. Like five or six weeks he had there, the Luton manager. Yeah. He was only there five or six weeks. Five games or That's five quite a long weeks. That's a time for them, isn't it? Then they got rid, got rid. <laughs> Can I just say about Edwards at Luton? Best, listen, I'm not, but I just think he's fantastic. The best looking manager in the Prem. Well, well I didn't know it was that sort of show today. No, it's not. I just you, got, you I just, I can't. It. I mentioned no. the Blue Oyster Bar. No, 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 no. have a bit of fun today. Handsome. He's an handsome. Cold, hey, Mr. Edwards, if you follow this, handsome boy, I'm telling you. Good looking. I love him. I like him talking. I think he's also a great I'm story. A good manager. He's I a like great him. manager. Right, what for two leads to? Another, another late show, wasn't it? 2 0. Was, was it 2 0? Was it 2 0? Yeah, there was another late show. Was it, no, it was, uh, was it 1 1, 2 1, then 2 2, two weren't it, I think? Yeah, oh. Leeds, Leeds got the Leeds equaliser. Very late, yeah. 87 minutes worth, yeah. I think, yeah. Well, well, well see, well, in my notes, that's exactly what I've put. Yeah. Is these late goals, all right? Yeah. The late goals, Ipswich, Leeds, Leicester the other day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the 3 1 against Norwich. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Late. These late goals, Ipswich, Southampton. I mean, it was 97th minute. Yeah, yeah. 97th minute, Ipswich. The thing is, on, on top of that, you've got a lot of these, a lot of clubs looking for the playoffs. But as far as I'm concerned, I think, again, you've got the top three already. Ipswich, Leeds and Leicester. That's going to be one, two, three. So it's two out of the three that's yeah. going to get automatic promotion. Yeah. Then you look at three, four, five and six. And look, Saints have messed up recently. I think Leicester have to come up yeah. this season. Yeah. If, if not... not they're going to get a, a, a double whammy. Honestly, they're well, they, lost, they lost Tillemans, they lost Madison. They're going to have to sell players this summer. Obviously, they've got this big, you know, Premier League well, charge over them, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. And they reckon if they don't come up this season yeah. and they take a hit, they could, I think they could drop down to League One. Oh, gotcha, is that bad? Oh, mate, it's massive. But massive. you know, you just said they, they got the Premier League charges, they got the Football League charges as well. I know. They've charged them as well, they're they? They're trying to dodge it, innit? They're saying, oh, you can't well, do us saying that they're going the to count. League. They're going to count us soon. Well, that's what they said, didn't they? They said, well, you can't do us now, we're in a championship. They're saying, yeah, but when you're in the Premier League, that's yeah. when you did it. Yeah. And they're saying, because we're in the championship, Premier League can't touch them. No, and gotcha. if they come up, uh, it's, it's, yes. it's naughty. Yeah. OK, so, uh, so if, if we look at the table as it stands, well, look, well there were three games on um, Easter Monday, which was Leicester took on Norwich. Yeah. What, I must admit, I did watch that. I only watched a little bit of it. And uh, Norwich started off, one nil up early doors, then they just disintegrated. Fell apart. Fell apart. Fell apart. Yeah. Leicester got a goal, and that That's was massive it. massive for Leicester, because... But they needed that. I mean, it's only about, what, eight, nine games ago, they said Leicester could get the highest points to yeah. win a championship. 10, 12, how many 15 Didn't points they? clear? Well, on, on turn of the year, New Year's Day, they were 17 points clear. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 17 points phenomenal clear. I think they, they deserve I think they stumble over and if if you ask me now yeah who would come up out of them three I would say probably Leicester and Leeds because I think Ipswich are punched above their weight yeah they really really That's are my personal opinion but I no, love to they've see done so well up. where they've come from you know so they've done know. so but Leeds, well Leeds have a big follow or other game I'll tell you what this Ipswich Southampton game I watched Again, it. I watched you, it. I watched watch it. it. That, 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 that was the game that I picked. Yeah. That I said that's out of all the four that was on live, that was the one that I was going to watch. And they scored it. If they scored minute, 97, 97 minutes. After 97 Southampton, minutes. After Southampton, Southampton came back, done so well, so well, and uh, you know, years ago, we had uh, what 45 minutes each way. You had what one minute uh, injury time, and then you had club scoring in the. Uh, 
you know, one minute injury time, two minutes, oh, three minutes, where'd you get three minutes from? No, yeah. they're all nine, 94, 95, 96, well, 97, I saw one the other day, what game was that I saw the other day? 14 minutes. Yeah. In the first half, 14 oh, minutes added. Uh. And then eight in the second half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop the play accident and time wasted. I mean, if you go back to the games, what we were talking about uh, earlier, yeah. back in the 70s and 80s, you never saw players roll rolling about, about on the, the floor. Three or four minutes, did nah. you? There was one, I, I can't, one credit, I can't remember, on the weekend, there was one guy, he was down, and the commentator said, oh, he's down, he's waiting, to, waiting, waiting for um, the sponge man to come on, and they got a corner, and he, he, got, up. he got up so quick, yeah. he got up so quick yeah. as if his missus was chasing him, yeah, you happens, know what I mean? It, it was unbelievable. Yeah, happens, mate. So yeah. th the then, I would have gone, Bosch, yellow card, card yeah. 100%. I think, I, I think in layman's terms, it's called the Bruno Fernandes. <laughs> Basically, where you lay on the floor acting, and then uh, your team gets, you know, uh, look, we're in, look, shut up. <laughs> we're, not, we're in the championship. We're not in the premiership yet. Right. Last game, Leeds taking on Hull City. Another one. Hull City, won, were they 1-0 up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. they were 1-0 yeah. up. Yeah. And Leeds weren't on fire. They were Did poor. Did Carvalho score again? Yeah. Carvalho scored a cracking goal. He's on loan from Liverpool. Cracking and, goal. And there was, a, there was a bit of hassle about taking a penalty. Yeah. Some of Somerville. Uh, that was the Leeds penalty. Yeah, Somerville. yeah. Somerville. And there was another guy, fullback, and he was there. We went, no, I want it. Like, uh. yeah. so, thinking, surely at the end of the day, the manager decides a, who takes it. Yeah. Yeah. Singer in, by the way, Jimmy Somerville. Yeah. Cracking singer. If you like that kind of music. Well, I don't know. Blue really. Oyster Bar. He likes the Blue Oyster beat. Bar. He well, likes a bit of that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do apologise, all you Championship viewers. That's yeah, for sure. Yeah, they yeah. were. They were definitely arguing over the over who's going to take the penalty. Yeah, they were. But listen, if he missed it, oh, he would have had to bury himself, yeah. wouldn't he? Wouldn't yeah. he? That's for sure. That's the arguing, yeah. Uh, so we're looking at Ipswich, Leeds, Leicester, top three for Defo, two out of the three. Then we've got four, five, six, and seven. Southampton looks at Defo, obviously, for the um, for the playoffs. And then you've got about six or seven clubs. You've got West Brom, Norwich, My Boys Cov, Preston, in and out. And the Borough I think, I think, still got a possibility. And Hull City, who had a bad resort at Understock, they lost 2 0. And my boys, Coventry, we went to Huddersfield uh, Friday and beat them 3 1. Ellis Sims again, two more. I think he scored 13 goals in 10 games. And I thought he was very poor at the start of the season, but he's turning it around. Very poor? You absolutely know, know, quoted I the last time I did. I did. To me. All right, all right. I texted you about it. All right, all and right. And you said, no way. He is not I the player that, that we Jones, want. Jones Sims from the Carry On. I'm telling you, this geezer knows where yeah. the onion. When you go going away next week, are you? Yeah. Um, Talking of both of us. Championship. Yep. Um, our friend Mike, Mac and Mike. Oh, Mac, yeah, Mac and Mick. He went back. Uh, he's back in the UK now. Yeah. Oh, um, don't tell me he went for the five-one drubbing. No, he, in home. Yeah, he went. He went there hospitality. What this week? Just gone. They lost yeah, five-one. Home, home to Blackburn. 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 Home to Home to Blackburn. 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 Home yeah, the goalie. Uh, goalkeeper, yeah. yeah. He does all the hospitality and stuff. Against Leeds United, remember? 73. Yeah. He does all that. He said every every time they go, he's always there walking around, club legend. Anyway, he went this time and it was a woman. <laughs> so they paid for hospitality and it was some woman apparently oh, me, doing I mean. the hospitality yeah. at Sunderland. And um, anyway, he hates Michael Bill. He couldn't stand Michael Bill. Yeah, yeah. the charlatan, you mean. Um, charlatan is his he's name. On Sky, he's on Sky Sports now, isn't he? I don't care, he knows nothing. He's a charlatan. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing was, when Michael Bill took over at Sunderland, and I've had to tell uh, we might be four, Sunderland were four points off the playoffs. Yeah. Right? They're now 11 since they got rid of him. So oh, I'm just dear. saying yeah. that now. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know? Okay. Right. Um, he never did tell me what the woman was, by the way. At the I should have kept Tony Mowbray. <laughs> right, if you just tuned in, exactly. this is this is Webby Sports Road up here in sunny Tenerife, in my manor, in Laura's Bar in Kalasovaki, every Thursday morning. Me, my number two, Terry, my number three, Simon, are here talking about football championship and all the Premier League games that's happened over the past week and any games obviously coming up tonight and tomorrow and whatever the case. All about the news, what's happening. He wants to talk about Howard Webb, my uncle, which is the referee, top of the table. Hey, he is the main man. Can um, we get out of the way now? No, no. nothing. No, yeah. no, no. All right, well, give, give, me, give me a couple of minutes first. So if you just if you just tuned in, uh, if you've just subscribed, it is Webby Sports Road up here <laughs> in Sunny Tenerife, as I say. Tick a like, give that a little bit of a tick. Uh, Facebook page, Webby Sports Road. Any comments, I answer every single one. So please put your comments down below. And this goes out tonight, Thursday night, and live tomorrow, 9.30, here. We're going to be here, me and Chris Todd. The general, CD Amada, sir. He's going to be answering all the phone calls, all the messages, comments. But we're going to make every single sport you can think of. Rugby league, rugby union, 
a little bit of football, city tenery, boxing, everything, and horse racing. And we had two winners, don't forget, last couple of weeks. So you better get your pens and papers right, ready for the two weekend. Two winners, so you're only about four grand down now, aren't you? <laughs> Hey? 40 grand now. Four grand, 40, I don't know. I'll tell you something about you two. You do my head in. Look, just... me? No. I ain't done nothing wrong. But you just wrong. followed him. No, you just... If he you wasn't know, here, no. I wouldn't follow him. Yeah, but, yeah, but oh, no, but don't. You just... Well, don't he, invite he, him. He just said four grand. You just said 40, so you're backing him up. He said to me last week, get a 10 on that horse from the Lloyds Bank advert. <laughs> 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 last thing, jumping over in a river, weren't it? Oh, oh stop Vicky, it. I'm going to say something in a minute. All right? He ain't going to want to like it, but I'm telling you something now. <laughs> Tell him to say... Just say no next time, OK? Right, well, we're going to go to the Premiership. Before we go to the Premiership... Um, this week I've had a bit of a poor week. I've been a bit sneezy because of AFI and all that kind of stuff. And I've only just done some notes. So anyway, so this man does it from upstairs. And he said, Webby, I want to get this bit of refereeing out the way. So, all that one here. So basically, start talking about the referee. Right. This is a bit of, bit of football news. Number two, Terry, get on with it, son. The bottom line is, the refereeing standard this season has got to be the worst ever. right? And it's not from a Liverpool point of view. We've been done numerous times so I don't want to start whinging as a victim of Liverpool keep talking club, we'll get blah, blah, coffee blah, if blah, can. blah 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 but the bottom line is I watched the game last week Chelsea and you got a Burnley player he's on a yellow card right yes please yeah you carry on talking I'm just uh, gonna... Colombian beans please mate yeah okay yeah. I'll have one and all Lecce what do you want coffee Lecce. con Lecce yeah so we watched it last week the Chelsea game and the bloke's what's his name Modric He's in the right. box, he's, he's lost the ball. He's got a little shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder nudge from the Burnley player. The Burnley player, not, it's not even a foul. No. Modric has gone down. Next thing you know, he's given the penalty. It weren't a penalty. I, I don't think and it was. And because he's on a second, he's got, he's, he's got a second yellow. So yeah. He's obviously been sent off. Company's gone ballistic. And he's, he's got, got a, sent he's off. He's got sent off. He's on a ban yeah. as well. What are these chokers in the VAR looking at? I mean, they're looking at it. Surely they could say, no, shoulder-to-shoulder. -shoulder. It's definitely not a foul. Right? No! Oh, they've gone with the online on field decision and give the penalty and sent the lad off. We had the West Ham one, Claire Balding. Claire yeah. Balding's took Shocking. a little that thing Shocking. in the and it turned that game around. West Ham winning. Who's Claire Balding? Because viewers, some people won't know Andy who Claire Balding is. Andy Gordon, Andy Gordon. Right. Right. Claire Balding's gone down like a sack of spuds. West Ham winning 3 1 quite comfortably. It's changed <coughs> the game around, and as you know, Newcastle went on to win it 4 3. Yeah. I just feel that since Howard Webb, has taken over the, the, the PG, whatever you want to call PG, it. PG, uh, well, yeah, yeah. whatever it is, the refs, right? The standard's gone down. And we've got the VAR, we've got all the technology in place. And there's not a game that don't go by every week where you might have a decision go for you. I mean, I'm not going to spurt on about it, but this season, from a Liverpool point of view, and bear in mind, I think this season, the league will go, go down to goal difference, right? Yeah. I really do. We had the Diaz fiasco at Spurs. In that yeah. game, we had two players sent off that shouldn't have been sent off, in my opinion, right? The Diaz goal, which was a shambles. In this Absolute day and age, shambles. Sh that was one. We had one against your mob at Anfield, the Odegaard handball. Basketball right? player. Right, that was that one there. We've had the Doku challenge on McAllister the other week. Now, according to Howard Webb, <coughs> Howard Webb, don't forget, ref the World Cup final in 2010 between Holland and Spain. And Spain. Nigel de Jong went out on Xavi Alonso. We've just seen the video again. He went in foot high. Yeah, Kung Fu. Took, Bruce Lee style. It, it was a sort, Bruce right? Lee style. And all he given that game was a yellow card. It was the most blatant Kung Fu kick you'll ever see in yeah. a football game. Better than Eric Cantona's when he jumped into the crowd. Crowd. And he only gave a yellow card for that, in a, right? Which blatant red. So the precedent out there really is, you can go in now and start kicking people in the chest or whatever, and it's not and a no red risk, card offense. And no risk. And that's just me. I mean, I'm sure you've had numerous games and yourself this season, where, we, where you sit there watching, going, what are these refs looking at? And we've got the VAR in place now as well. So look at that and go, no, no, John, you made a mistake there, mate. It's not a penalty. He's took a dive, or it is a foul. But then, what are they doing? I just, it's, it's just, it's, it's me killing the game. Me personally, I just think it's two things. I think it's, um, number one, lack of communication with everybody together. Um, and number two... But wait, but these people are getting paid a hell of a lot of no, money. I'm, They're I professional referees I totally understand that. So why, for me, so why aren't they for me it's the amount of views they get at it. That how can they possibly get it wrong? They go back, forward, back, forward. You know, some of these decisions are taking two or three minutes, right? Yeah. 
And I think the worst thing that they do is when they show that, that they call the ref over to the monitor, tell them to go look at the monitor, and there's a steel weight in there for him. A that's, steel. that's wrong. Yeah, yeah. The steel What's the point wrong. of that? What's the point? As soon as he sees the steel, it's in his head now. Yeah, yeah. That's it. It's in his so head. If I'm doing that on a steel, it looks like you're basically punch, you're going to punch him in yeah, the face. But basically, I'm doing that to get the wasp off your chest, exactly. and you don't see the next bit, do you? Or something like that. You know what I mean? So, right. okay. Well, uh, to give you, to one more example. Of okay, it, go on. Right, then. Is obviously, as you know, I've blurted on about you know the decisions that have gone against Liverpool. Yeah. We had one at Forest, as you know, where basically the referee. Should have given the Excuse ball back me. to Hudson Adoyu. Yeah. But instead of give it to our goalkeeper, we've gone up the other end. There's been two, another two phases of it, by the way, a corner, I think, as well, and we've scored. And that was blurted on about Liverpool. But in the first <coughs> half, the same thing happened, where he's given the ball back to the Forest goalkeeper. So in the same game, you've had two decisions. Both different. They're both wrong. They're both wrong. One led to a goal, one yeah. didn't. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I, 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 I'm at a loss of it. It's actually making me sit there thinking, do they know what they're doing off these refs? I mean, just see the one last weekend, Liverpool game. Because there's balls now, it's the new ball boy rule. The ball boy now can't directly throw the ball to a player. They've got to put the balls on these cones. Yeah, on the cone. Around the pitch. And behind the goal, when Liv, uh, Liverpool had a corner, yeah. uh, there was two footballs in front of the cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the ref would have got the ball himself, didn't he? And, and I saw that. No, I saw that. And David Coop went over, yeah, picked up ball two himself. balls, I saw that. rolled them off to the side yeah. of the bloody yeah. pitch. And the, the, the ball boy, that's on the And there was yeah. dunks going, ref, what are you doing? We're defending a corner. Yeah. Oh, it's a stupid rule. Okay. But before the game, is it, don't they have a meeting where they have a fast track ball or not? Uh, I, honestly, I, I don't they, know. They, you, you can pick or choose it. Okay. You, you, you decide between you yeah. if you have the fast track ball or not. What do you mean the fast trap ball? Oh, so you put the ball on the cones. Yeah. If you, sometimes oh, okay. they have no balls. Okay. No balls on the cones. Okay. So that ball that's in play is yeah. the only ball that's used. Oh, ah, okay. If it goes in the crown and it takes a you, minute to come back. You've got to wait to get it out. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I old school, that. old okay. school. Yeah, okay. The best, the best that's ball, what I've ball heard. is the Aiden Hazard rule. Give him the ball, you little shit, and push him out of the way and get yeah. it there. Yeah. That's the best rule, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Just give me the ball. <laughs> Same as uh, Mark Robbins, wasn't it? The other day, the other day, yeah, 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 with Howard Webb, yeah. you need someone in there to ask Howard Webb the questions yeah. that we all want him to be asking him, yeah. not by scan. So what happened here then? No, 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 I disagree, Howard. This is what, you know, yeah. I don't yeah. have seen that programme yeah. on, on no, the No, I haven't seen it because you, you, ref oh, yeah, you've got ref watch it, yeah. with Dermot Gallagher. But this one he's talking about is on uh, TNT. TNT. Uh, gotcha, OK. Howard Webb and Mark Lovin. Well, listen, before we go to the prem, um, if one of you got your phones, I, did I send you the... Uh, you send me a lot of naughty stuff, mate. I can't <laughs> discuss what you send me. The list of our football. Yes. Right, start of the season, I think it was Terry that said, um, seven of us, eight of us, or what have you, we all chucked 20 euros in. Uh, but nobody's seen any money yet, apart from Foggy. He gave me 20 euros when he was over last... Are you sure uh, you're giving uh, that 20 euros in a yeah, few weeks, lads? Uh, and what it is... Uh, there was basically us three, Foggy number four, we are. my mate Ragsy number five, you, you, my, Ragsy number, his son Andy number six, Sean Murphy number seven, and Kevin Middlesbrough number eight, eight of us. So somebody's going to pick up 160 euros at the end of the season. And what we had to do was put each team we thought in the Prem in the order they're going to finish. A numerical one, order. In, yeah, obviously in one down to 20? Yeah. One, one down to 20. Yeah. And every now and then, Terry messaged me yesterday and said, well, if you do a favour, ask Tim. Tim's got all the bits and pieces. So he sent me the list up to date. Who's in front, second, third or fourth? So basically, if you... And you've got to have the lowest number. Because if you put, just say, Tottenham to finish seventh and they're fourth, so you're minus three points. Yeah. OK? That's how it works. Here. So the best is, well, is it, minus. It's like two minus two points per position. Is you're it? At. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Well, so that's obviously, it too, as right. you said, if, if Spurs you put to finish seventh, it, yeah, it two, they finish it, fourth. Yeah. Then obviously you get minus six points. Okay, here. two. Okay. So it's two points per position. Isn't it? Right. So basically, we've got an up to date. Um, who's first? Let's go from last to first. Right. So, last we've got Andy. He's on minus one forty-four. <laughs> that's Wags' his son, Andy, who big West Ham fan, West lives Ham. in London. Lovely fella. One four four. You don't know your football, big 
big man. Who else is next? Then we've got um, Kevin and Simon, minus one, two, four. Oh, Guna, Simon oh, and Kevin. Kevin the Borough right? Boy. Mate, this is conference one, one twenty four. Cut the end. Right, OK, next. Uh, then we've got Wagsy on uh, minus 116. Oh, I, I haven't come in yet. Wagsy on 116. 116. So we can soon change, though, can't it? It's oh, easy yeah, to change. Yeah, it's easy, yeah, as yeah. we see. So Wagsy, big West Ham boy, top, top fella. Then we've got you, minus oh, 112. On 112, okay, that's not too bad. I'm happy with that. And then we've got, oh, it's a joint one there. Sean, Terry, and Foggy, all minus 100. Oh, you're joking. So, so, so you... So it's going to come down a goal difference, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like the Premier League. <laughs> so you, Sean Murphy and Foggy, you're all on uh, minus, minus 100. Minus 100. So I'm minus 12. So I'm six places different, in a sense, isn't it? So yeah, you, yeah, yeah, six places different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good, isn't it? That's great fun. That's and it. that's so with about how many games to go? Seven, eleven, eight, either. Eight, eight, nine games left. But eight, yeah, so yeah, it can all change tonight. Yeah, so well yeah. done, boys. So that's a 20 euro each. Um, a bit of fun at the end of the season. <laughs> you know, yeah, but when you lose by two <laughs> points, it'll be back to 20. No, it'll be back to 10. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Uh, right, I didn't okay. bet. I didn't bet. If you just tuned in, Webby Sports Road up on a Thursday morning. Three boys, me, Webby, named Paul Webb. Big tell, big Liverpool fan from London, as he does. Uh, <laughs> Cotty Scane, sorry, he loves that. Cough and fan from Gloucester. Cough fan from Gloucester. You've got to get in with that, haven't you, big Gloucester? And Simon, big gooner, loves his... From South London. Love, from South London, loves his football. <laughs> so, it's a messed up world, isn't it? Messed up world, <laughs> yeah, mate. So, uh, so we're the three that uh, gives you the football focus, football afternoon, whatever you want to call it. We have a bit of fun. So, so your local team, who is it? Well, Chutland, Forest Chutland, Green Chutland, Chutland Town, Forest Green. No, you know one, mate. No, I'm they're just both, they're both no, Gloucester. They're both within. I'm, I'm, yeah, what's I'm a, nearest to I'm a, you're born? Nearest team. Well, I'm a Gloucester City boy, really. That's why I'm born. So, Gloucester City, they're in the um, southern it's south. A proper team. I'm not this pub football. Bristol. Well, when you say property, what's well, Bristol. Forest Green Rovers in Division 2. 92 two. teams in the league. Well, Forest, Forest Green Rovers Forest Green, in League 2. Forest Green in le uh, League 2. Cheltenham Town are in League Chelten 2. They're in League 1. Yeah, they're in League 1. They're League 1. They're, league one. they're third for the bottom two, with the gate with, um, with that two points. Well, so they'll be in League 2 next And season. I've been to both of them. Right. Uh, I've not been to the new one at Forest Green. My, my pal manages them now, Stevie Cottrell. Ex um, Shrewsbury, he's ex, uh, ex He's been everywhere. He's been Burnley. everywhere. He's been a everywhere. good lad. Right, lovely, okay. lovely, good lad he is. And your, your local team is Millwall, no? No, I'm born in North London. I'm born at University College Hospital, Gower Street. So right near Warren London Street. My mum and dad moved when I was oh, free. Right, okay. <laughs> they moved over. They swapped, changed the lines. Right. They changed alliances, mate. Uh, Excuse me, is, it, is this a family programme or is this a football programme? Oh, right, right, yeah, yeah. This is and obviously, one. Well, well, let's, let's have you I was born half mile from Upton Park. So he was born a half a mile from Upton, Upton Park. Park yeah. And if I remember the story, his dad took him to watch West Ham play Liverpool after a few games. In the 10th game, Liverpool beat West Ham, if I remember. Correct me if I'm wrong. And he thought, Dad. No, I'm no, no, no. I'm not, no, I was no. seven years of age. Oh, here we go, here we go. I go West Ham every other week. Yeah. The first few times I went there, I said, it's got me more to life from watching this. Oh, you know I mean? dear me. The funny story is, I think I told this before, was years, about 20 years ago, I went to Madrid to watch England play. Yeah. And um, at the Bernabeu, we actually lost 1-0. And Ooh. on the way, on, the, on the, that day, I met Jeff Hurst. Yeah. Um, anyway, the next day, I'm flying back to Gatwick, yeah. and it was on a BA flight, and that's when you got three bevies. Oh, right, yeah, so yeah. So I'm yeah. in about, I about eight that. or nine, and at the front, you've got all the FA boys and Jeff Hurst. And I walked up to him, and I said, oh, hello, Mr. Hurst. He went, I met you yesterday, young man. I went, you did indeed. Anyway, I had a St. George flag. I went, in charge, you can sign me St. George flag. So he signed it to me and my son, Reese. And um, I had a sort of shirt on like this with a little liver bird on. He went, where are you from? I went, I was born in Plasto. He went, but why do you support Liverpool? And I said, basically, I said, there's a kid growing up, I said, in the 70s. I said, well, I said, if the players West Ham had, we're actually two bob, as in rubbish, you want your cheeky bastard. Because obviously Jeff Hurst played for West Ham. Of course he yeah. did, yeah, but, um, with the greats, yeah. Pro proper gentlemen, so... A few um, of the greats. Yeah, yeah, so there you go. That's the story. Uh, Thank you for that, Terry, I appreciate right, it. Thank right. you. Right, well, I'm off yeah, now. Off now. <laughs> Let's go. There you go. We've had Terry, so right, let's get into Premiership. Right, here we go. So you, you can go away now, you're not on here, right? I'm not on here. <laughs> Lead us to the big boys. Mate. And we lost to Cardiff on Monday. I was, oh, we've got... No, run oh, no. One, we won. They've done a double over us, but it's 3-2 there. And they're in a bad side to take. So I think we just... We gave them too much respect. Or not enough respect. Um, and they just... I don't know. Two on goals. Oh, they've done me, Eddie. Especially with all the teams around losing. Only, you know, Norwich lost. 
Preston, lost Hull City, lost. So we could have had a great chance. But it is what it is. So yeah. Stop crying, Webby, and get on with the game. Get on with right. it. Right. Premiership. Let's get the big boys in. Right. Premiership last week. Now, I actually watched this Newcastle West Ham last Saturday. 12.30. And, and I went Early over. To, went over to the Britannia Bar. See uh, Lee, lovely fella. A few of us went over there. Stoke just, fan, just for, Stoke, yeah, big Stoke, just for a change. Got over there just for a bit of fun. Have a bit of a change. Nice drink. Uh, nice different atmosphere. And I'll tell you what, what a game. Seven goals. And as far as I'm concerned, Andy uh, Wagsy, the son, yeah. he was there at the top. Send me a couple of photographs. They lost that for one reason, West Ham. They were, were they one nil up? Three one up. Three, yeah, they won one nil. Yeah, yeah. They were well, three. Back to the penalty but, again. Yes. <laughs> there we yeah, go. No, no, no. But what I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. but no, hang on. But pre that, as far as I'm concerned, he took Anthony off, brought Kevin Fi Calvin Phillips on. Anthony he, off? Antonio or? Yeah. Antonio, the forward. Oh, right. yeah, Antonio. Antonio. Oh, right. He brought him off, Calvin Phillips on, just to sort of have a back. Shore it up, to shore it up. Yeah, exactly. Just have a, have, a, have a block of four, a block of four and five in the middle, say, that's it, stop them coming through. And I think that was a mess. That's what David Moyes did. He, he stopped. Missed. He just yeah, stopped. He just stopped, he stopped playing. And when you, and you get one goal back. Now, also, I'll tell you something else. New, I'm a player watching Newcastle United. They had like two or three injuries. And I mean proper injuries to proper players. They're coming off, put a sub on, coming off. I'm thinking, where's he sub from? They're like kids. And yeah. they went on to win the game. So everything was against Newcastle. Everything was against West, uh, Newcastle United, and they still went in one four three. Yeah, Phenomenal. But, yeah, but, but Webby, that penalty, though, Webby, mate, but that penalty yeah. I know. Listen, I even thought the first one was soft. But that penalty, as you said, we talk offline, didn't we? You know, he went there. He, know, he went to kick the ball. I, and the guy I, I had, don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, disgusting. You know, disgusting. It's rubbish. Right, this, well, we've had that. This move. Kelvin Phillips. There's something going on with him. I don't care what you say, well, I mean... I, I personally, I think Guardiola's ruined his career yeah. because Guardiola bought him for yeah. 50 million quid from Leeds he, to stop, stop other clubs buying him. 100%. United, yeah. Arsenal, sure Liverpool, back in the day. whoever. Yeah, when, when, when City well, bought him. you were going to get him, him and then next yeah. he went to Chelsea, went to Chelsea didn't he? For, for I agree. Money to sit I on agree, the bench. 100%. Right, right. Let's, move, let's move on. We've had that, right. Uh, Cherries, uh, Bournemouth took on Everton. Good three points for Bournemouth. Solanke again. Could he be in the Euros? He's got I mean, a chance. He's got a chance, hasn't he? If Watkins stays injured, he's got a chance. He's scoring. He's got to, he's got to. He's Ivan scoring. Tony for definite. He's... I, I can't see it personally. He's got his favourite Southgate. It's going to be they all got Harry Kane. Isn't it? Harry Kane or Tony. Harry Kane. Well, he's got to. Harry Kane, they missed, they missed him he playing was, for him last that, week. Well, they're trying yeah. to change it from 23 to 26 yeah, to the yeah. squad, which they will do anyway. Yeah, I can't see want to change it back from 26 to 23. No, I know. Anyway. Okay. So if they change it, we should be taking at least three strikers out there. Yeah, okay. Right? Uh, but... Not being funny, if you watch that winning goal, Jordan Pickford is standing there with his hands on his hip. Yeah. Now, I know from goalkeepers, and it is hilarious, that the ball's up the other end of the pitch and you see the goalkeeper totally focused. What's going on? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. He's alert. Jordan Pickford standing there with his hands on his hips. Was he? Like yeah. as if he's waiting for a bus. Yeah, gotcha. And then when the ball comes over, I mean, is it Seamus Coleman's fault or Pickford's fault? Right, okay, well, let me stop you there. Shocking. Is he your number one England goalkeeper? Right. No. Can I say one thing? Would Jordan Pickford be in goal for Germany, France, no. Portugal? No. Italy. Right. Spain. No. There you go. Say no, no more. No. That's Say your answer. No, no. Right. Let's move on quickly. Uh, as the time's running out on the show. Chelsea, Burnley. Now, I'll tell you what. I didn't watch it, but I was watching Sky Sports News. Another after. poor, another poor. Listen, Chelsea, we ain't this, got to talk about this game because all it is is poor refereeing yeah, again. Yeah. Burnley. They're down, poor referee. they're down to ten men. And they scored two goals. And hit the bar at the end. Yeah, did they hit the bar? Did, yeah. Yeah, Rodriguez. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, how could Chelsea? How could Chelsea draw two to the fans? Chelsea need all the help they can get, mate. As Chelsea, far as I'm concerned. Personally speaking, Chelsea. I tell you what, they want to get high up that table because they're going to get some serious points deducted. You reckon? Yeah. Hundred percent, mate. Right. Let's go. Let's go to um, um, City Ground Forest Palace one all. I said that was to be a board draw. We said it didn't be We said didn't we a board draw. One one. Sheffield United Fulham. That was another game. It ended up three three. Sheffield United were three, three one up. up. Crazy. Then they, went, then they went four one up. They got a goal disallowed. Crazy. Back to three one, and they scored two late goals again. You know, three all. Them and Luton keep getting these leads and yeah. can't hold on to them. Sheffield United and Luton. Let's go off to um, Spurs. Spurs taking on Luton Town. Luton. Gone in front, one nil again. Unlucky. And they, yeah, again, and they can't hold it. What's that? Would you like, Sam? Spursy. 
Very. Very Spurs. Very Spurs. Very. Is it? I yeah. watched part of that game, and I'll tell you what, Luton had their chances. Yeah. But Luton don't know, know how to shut up. Shut how to finish a game, no. That's no. the problem, isn't it? Well, they went three to up against us earlier in the season at their game. Did they? They were three yeah, to up, did, and yeah. then we won four well, three. They went one new up at Anfield. You know, <laughs> it's, it's madness, madness. Villa Wolves. Um, I wanted to watch that, but I didn't. I didn't have chance because I saw an early game, twelve thirty. Villa Wolves, and I believe Wolves played quite well. They should have won that. I've been told. But anyway, Villa two Wolves nil. Um, do you watch any of it? No. No, nah, nor me. No, nah, nah. I, I missed it in the end. Um, what about that game? Right, Brentford Man United. I watched that Saturday night. Lovely I never girl. I never went down and watched Lovely it. Now, Brentford, wow. Brentford's bench is yeah. four million pounds or something ridiculous. Is that all? Man News was a few hundred million. I watched the entire game. Brentford had touched the ball in Man U's penalty area or, or box or whatever, 85 times. Yeah. I think Man U is the other one is about 18 times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man U absolutely shocking. I saw, I saw the stats. They, they had shocking. 30 yeah. shots, 30 shots, didn't they? Both United, you said. You know, we're Brentford bad. Brentford would work four times. Bar that much, Tony yeah. scored a great goal. Yeah. It's the worst team, Man U team, I've seen play. They played against Liverpool in the FA Cup the other week. Yeah. And I don't think Man United played that, that particularly well. I thought no. Liverpool did the game away perfectly. Yeah, they just, right? turned, they just turned up a little bit again, more. Against Brentford, I think they played worse in this game when they drew 1-1 than yeah. they did last year. Yeah, they lost 4-0. They, 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 they were lucky to get to, to get a point there, United. And I thought they stole it at the end. When Mance oh. knocked that one in, I thought, there's no justice in football. That's right, yeah, they, they scored like yeah. two minutes after. And, well, all, just, and of all people, and all Mason Mount, he's done nothing all season, yeah, hasn't no. well, just, Shocking. Let's move on to Sunday. Uh, two cracking games there. We're at your mob at Anfield. I saw um, Welbeck score the first goal great after goal. Great phenomenal really goal. Good Fifth finish. finish. Really good but you finish. just knew Liverpool were going to get a couple. With you just watching and watching the well, crowd, that, that, the twelfth man in there. Mo Salah had the most shots in against one... the Premier League team since he's been at Liverpool. Is that he right? Had about fourteen shots. Did he? Yep. Yeah, most he's ever had in a game against any other Premier League team. But you know what, Brighton. Since De Zerbi's been there, it's the first time we've beaten them. Yeah. They don't care what team they take, four or five players out of their team. Yeah, still put, yeah they're good. Yeah. And they just, they're just one of them teams... That I've, I've thought that was the best I've seen Brighton play, they play for yeah. a long while. They did play well. Yeah. They played really well. Deserved that day, the points, you know? I think. Didn't they? You know, I don't know if they no, deserved no, the no. point. I don't think they deserved the point. They played shots, really. They played well. They yeah, but just because you had thirty odd shots, sometimes they're, no, out, we, they're we, outside we, the we, box. We, they, they, they played a lot better than what I've seen. Right, let's move on to the game of the week, which I wanted to watch, and you just knew it was going to be nil nil and no Paul goals game, in there. Well, 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 poor for who? See, this, this, this is my argument with people. I've got City fans ringing me Sunday night. Oh, what kind of performance was that? What kind of effort was that did you put in you come there to park the bus blah 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 blah. the first time I thought they were the first time I remember I did I agree the first time I remember right Arsenal playing like that yeah we are the best football playing team in the league yeah. at the moment we're easy on the eye yeah right we're good to watch yeah yeah we didn't play attacking football no, on never. Sunday we went there with a game plan and I think we executed it well. Second half it changed. Don't get me wrong, City were there, but the, people say City were there for the table. I think it. they were, I think they were. Well, we had the better chances, right? They might have had more possession, but in the wrong end of the pitch. Yeah. I thought right? you could have went for it, second half. I, I thought... don't think they'd done anything to threaten us. They looked better last night. You wanted to make sure you never lost. We didn't lose. That's what I said to you last yeah, week you in did. the podcast. Yeah, yeah. As long as we don't lose... Yeah, we, we're, we're ranging in there. I, I'm sweet with I, that. I listened to an interview on, on the radio, and the interview went as this. When Tony Pulis was at Stoke, and they went to Arsenal, and they shut up shop, and they defended like that for 90 minutes, yeah. the Arsenal fans were saying, it's the worst team in the league, they're saying football, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then they had people phone up going, but when you do it at City... It's great defending, it's great, you know, management, blah, blah, blah. It, it's, it's, it works two ways, doesn't it? Yeah, of course, course it yeah. does. I, I thought, to get, anyway, to go City and stop them scoring for the first time in, in 57 games. Was, was great. Oh, was that the fact? Oh, first I, time in 57 but, games. I didn't, know, I didn't know that fact, actually. But I just thought, second half, without Carl Walker, without Stone's plan, I think they <coughs> missing someone else, I can't remember the other player missing. Um, I thought they were there for the take. Yeah, I, I agree. I thought you could have went for it, but... Listen, it's a point that City's a great result, mate. Yeah. You would have taken yeah. it all day long. I would have took it all okay, day. Okay, right, let's, let's move on. Uh, more games on the Tuesday. So at Newcastle, Everton, 1-1. Um, I, I didn't see any football. No, I was out. I've not watched any of it, I but it's just a case of picking. Well, the first goal... 
Kelvin, I wear high heels. Yeah. Lewin scored in about 30 games in it. Is that right? Yeah. That's why Everton. In the last minute, didn't you? Your centre forward only scored one goal in about 28 games or whatever. I you just, start to think. You have got to start thinking. That's why you're in the bottom three. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Everton have got it's problems. Not good enough. Is it? Not good enough. Um, City ground again. Forest, Fulham, Fulham. Forest, Street, Forest uh, three went up on to Fulham. Fulham. On the reverse fixture, it was 5 0. 5 0, they smashed them, the didn't they? Fi the, the reverse was 5 0. Fulham's yeah. like your aftershave, mate. Hit and miss. Yeah, the, worse. Yeah, worse than these aftershave. Honestly, it Honestly, it's worse than these aftershave. <laughs> tell. Honestly. What about they deserve this? I Unbelievable, know. you're a. No, you, you, you know, know what you get me from, do you? One week you watch them and you think, well, they're like demoralised West Ham the other week. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Forest, Brighton. Yeah. Bournemouth, uh, sorry, Fulham, Brighton, Bournemouth. Yeah. And Brentford. One week, yeah, they're good. at it. One bad, and one week they're not. It's, it, I don't know. It's are you, hard. Find, are you finding it hot today? It's Whoa. roasting today. Bloody roast! I tell you, absolutely look, I'm sweating. Do me another. Yeah, absolutely it's very hot today. Yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? Chop me tan up. Tune into where <laughs> you're on the laugh. Isn't it? That blue oyster bar flu. Webby Sports Radio beer on a Thursday morning. Terry, my number two. Yeah, Cotley Scouser, Gloucester Coventry, and we got the man from North, South, East, West London, whoever he is, Big Simon, who supports the Gunners. Absolute quality. Who's going to win the league? That's what we want to know. Is it Arsenal? Is it Liverpool? Or is it Man City? It we could, will have to wait and see. You you, if, it, if you beat City 1 0 the other week, imagine it. If you're not subscribed, oh, subscribe. Comments down below. Yeah, but at this point, Facebook, oh, Webby, point of Sports, League. Rainer. Perfect. Let's get these boys back on. Right, we've got, um, go on. See Bournemouth. Bournemouth home to Crystal Palace. Right. Palace for another. I, had, I, I would have backed back that nil nil all day long, right? That was the other game we said, didn't we? Boring, didn't, wasn't it? I didn't realise. Bournemouth are only so many points off European qualification. Are they? Yeah. Yeah. They, wow. They're only so many more points off. And they've off. gone on one again last night, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they're only, I think. Tuesday night. I think they said four points off the conference qualification or something. Did they beat Everton at the weekend as well? Yep, 2-1. 2-1, Wow, so yeah. they've won 2-1. So, yeah. so they, they must be getting really close then. Yeah. And if you think about it, how many fans they got? What the ground? What, 12,000 12, or something? Yeah. Yeah. Which I 12, thought when Bournemouth come up a few years back, they come up, and I thought, somewhere I heard that, they could. They, I, I, like so many seasons up there. Then they've got to increase the capacity of their stadium. Well, that's okay. what I thought. But yeah. I, I, Obviously, I, that's gone by yeah. by the All wayside. Right. Two more games before we close the shop. Uh, Turf Moor Burnley home to Wolves. Burnley one, Wolverhampton Wanderers one. That's two draws on the bounce away to Chelsea and home to Wolves. And do you know something? Well, that's another game that's you two, thought Burnley could have won. That's two cracking points to be honest with you. They could have won both another of them. Game Burnley's not lost though. I think they're unbeaten and about yeah. five. And, so, and, and if you look at the table. They're not a million miles away. They need to get a three-pointer. No, no. They need to get a three-pointer, that's yeah. for sure. Last game, uh, before we wrap it up, West Ham on to Tottenham. I didn't see it, but it's a big derby. Isn't it? I West saw the game, mate. I thought, oh, did you? Okay. I thought Spurs' first 20 minutes looked very good. Yeah. Uh, and then they had a sort of spell in the second half where yeah. they didn't look very good. Uh, and then there was a spell where Antonio went running through. Yeah. And his legs just, it was like running in mud. When he went through on goal, and yeah, uh, I just thought West Ham could have took maybe the one where he could have got put him 2 0 up, yeah, uh, yeah, 2 1, I think. 2 1 up, yeah. I think he's I a funny, any Antonio, he's got that great goal against Newcastle last week, isn't he? Hey, he's, 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 he's great for West Ham. I just thought last 10 minutes, I saw Danny Inns, mm. you know, them little iPad things they get out, you know, yeah. and I thought he's coming on, fresh legs up front, and maybe they could have went for it. And they held on, held on, held on, and they never brought Danny Inns yeah. on. I just thought maybe Spurs were there for the taking. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sure. yeah probably but Spurs so. could nick it at the end as well. Yeah, but they look very but leggy no, as no, well. But, second half. But no one likes to see Spurs get beat, do they? Um, well, not that I know of, anyway. I've got a lot of time for Spurs fans because, obviously, as you know, you're at home to City, <laughs> at home to Arsenal this season. So, so Foggy, you know what's going to happen, mate. And, and obviously the two games tonight, Man United, I love uh, Chaz and Dave Man United, well. Chelsea tonight. Best and, group in uh, the world. <laughs> and who's your, who you got tonight? Sheffield United. Sheffield United. No, we were talking off air. Um, we, you think you've got to start making that goal difference, haven't you? Tonight, tonight's think, the time. As you said, there's about eight in it. But there again, it's you've played Sheffield United, <coughs> right? And you've put six past them the other week. Oh, you did, didn't you? Yeah, right? six on now five. we've got to play them tonight. Obviously, I would take a one nil now. Simple as Without that. Without a right? doubt. Without a doubt. But, I'd like to see us tonight 
turn it on. Bang a few in. Yeah, you got to. Get that goal difference down. Because yeah, yeah. I've got a sneaky feeling. It's going to go season, the wire. It could come down the goal difference. Well, that's what they're all going to be talking about. Klopp and the rest, he's going to be saying that, listen, we need we need to start um, banging a few in, boys. But uh, we, said, we said on. before we started doing this, I think the league's going to be decided by Tottenham. Tottenham have got to play well, all three teams. They're playing all okay. three, yeah. They're at home to their mob. Yeah. Uh, his mob. They're at home to City and yeah. they're away to Liverpool. So... They're the only team I think that. And Man United got Liverpool this Sunday, innit? Like, you know. Well, if it's a Man United who turn up against Brentford. Then Liverpool are going to smash them. Yes. Where is it? Old Trafford? Yeah. Yeah. But you know, you never know, do you? Again, no, who turns no, up? That's for all. sure. You just don't know. It's one of them games when I was growing up and even the last 10, 15 years. Going to United, I used to dread it. I used yeah. to go, oh, You're going to yeah, get yeah. pummeled. Yeah. You're going to get pummeled. But nowadays, yeah. I look forward to it and I think. I think they dread us coming there more yeah. than you know yeah. I dread yeah. going there. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. Right, before we uh, close up, is there anything else you you've got on your um, yeah. your book on your pad, son? You want to uh, bring up to the viewers? Do you know what? There's the uh, there's a uh, a Chelsea fan that I know. I've known them for years, right? Malcolm, Elliot, and Frank. And uh, Malcolm watches the show every week, right? Okay. And he phoned me the other day, and he said to me, "Listen." Can you send me some money for a TV license? You keep saying that Arsenal are the biggest club in London, blah, 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 blah. He said, but you never give Chelsea any accolades. I said, because you've only, you've only been there for, since 2005. It's 19 years. Before that, you were nowhere. But these lads, they go all the games, over the way, Europe, you know, and been going there for years. He said, I don't give you the accolades, Malcolm. I just don't like... You keep talking about... Arsenal fans live in the past, right? But you've got to have history. Exactly. Your, your club should be steeped in history, as far as I'm concerned. We spurred on about 1966, right? didn't we still? Exactly, <laughs> World Cup. So, you know, I'm not saying you're a bad side. You're a bad side this season, and you was a bad side last season. I don't know how you're going to move on, and as far as I'm saying, I hope you don't. I hope, you, I hope you're well. Good luck. Love you all. I think, I think the problem being with Chelsea as well is all them years of success. Now, uh, they've, not, they've not done anything to their stadium. You mean with Peter Osgood, and Bobby they're, Tamblyn? They're in a very old stadium that needs yeah. a lot of work doing. Yeah. And for them to relocate now, I mean, I was talking it's about the Fantasy Power Station years ago. Yeah, well, ago. that's done now, isn't it? They've obviously, put a shopping centre there now. Arsenal. Obviously, Wenger was at Arsenal. Yeah. He was wheeling and dealing. He was still winning cups, still winning yeah. leagues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've got to pay for Stadiums paid off, right? Yeah. yeah. I look at Liverpool, we've invested in the stadium. Man U at the start of the Premier League yeah. invested in upgrading Old Trafford. Yeah. You look at City with their stadium. Even Everton going to a new stadium. And Chelsea have st 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 still in there all these years. And I think they're not going to move forward with a stadium that only holds 41 fans. No, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, and yeah. they, they can't increase it. So I don't know. I think the big, Chelsea's biggest problem, I think, is off the field rather than on the field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this Todd Bowley and all these players on eight and nine years. Who can contracts. you see? Who can you actually see going? Let's change the in the Premiership. Who can you see dropping? If Everton dropped and they got the new stadium coming, because you can go, you can go up now to up to probably Crystal Palace, Brentford. They're all within a but, few points, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, well, that's what Terry just said about Bournemouth. You know, the gap, the gap, Bournemouth to the to the European places. Yeah. And Bournemouth to the two cracking home wins, basically. That's what you're you saying. Know, isn't and, and, it? and Bournemouth points. to the to the relegation zone. Exactly there's why there's we're not a lot of difference. Go on, let's have a quick look. Where Bournemouth are, because um, as if you it, said, if you while he's looking at, if you just tuned in, Webby Sports Radio here in sunny Tenerife in my manner. Terry, my number two. Simon, my number three. We're on every single right, Thursday. Bournemouth, right, here we Bournemouth go. Bournemouth on 41 points. They got yeah. minus nine goal difference in the. European Conference League place is West Ham at the moment oh, on what? 45 points. Four points difference. Four points and their goal difference is minus five. Wow. So you've got Newcastle with a game in hand on 44 points with plus 12 Bloody goals. Yeah. So as I said, yeah. they're literally one win away yeah. from that touching distance of European yeah. football. Yeah, you're now, right. And they're on a roll at the moment. They just won two on the bounce. So yeah. well, the yeah. season, we've been talking as well all throughout the I season. Had I had Bournemouth in the bottom four in my group thing, If I Edwards think. keeps looting up, he could be manager of the season. Yeah, yeah. Right? For yeah. sure. If Arsenal win the league, Arteta, Klopp wins the league, or City win the league. Yeah. But then you start thinking, if Bournemouth get European football, 
for yeah, the first and time Andrew, yeah, what's going to yeah, happen yeah, with yeah. him? Yeah. Sure. And they had a really bad start, didn't they? Yeah. So could he be manager of the season if they get European football? Who knows? I, mean, I thought it would be great if Bournemouth got European football. It'd be amazing, wouldn't it, really? Yeah, phenomenal. Unreal. So Absolutely. it's so close, though, to isn't it? the South it? Coast. be brilliant. There you go. Yeah, OK. Right, that's it. We're going to clear it up now. Um, You'll be tuning into Webby Sports Roundup here on a Thursday morning. This is football focus, football, football, football. That's all we talk about. Premiership and the Championship. Um, we probably get more views on Ed and football focus because since that woman's been presented, the viewing figures have gone right down. Have they gone down? Stop. Yeah, they've gone down. Bring back Bob beats. Wilson. Yeah, yeah. Bring yeah. Bob, Bob Wilson. Wilson. Yeah. yeah, Bob Wilson, Gooner. Yeah. Bring him back. Hey, eh? well, um, get him out of retirement. Did I, did I say last week about uh, rest in peace, Larry Lloyd? I think I did. Yeah, that, yeah we did say, so, yeah. We did, I think, yeah. But somebody kept, I'll tell you what, I want a, a big mention to um, to Laurie, the referee. He sent me a message. He said, Webby, I'd appreciate it if you put on put it on there. What did he say? And I'm going to say, these refs are crap in the league. I'm <laughs> yeah. out Give of me a job, yeah. <laughs> very, very quickly, a guy called uh, Quilty, Pete Quilty used to live here, uh, Notts County man, lovely. He was a chef, had his own little bar and whatever. Went back home to England a few years ago. Anyway, he knew Larry Lloyd very, very well. And he brought Larry Lloyd into Monte Cristo, then in Kalasovaki a few years ago. And in the Mar- uh, he brought him to Arnie's as well. If you wait, if you wait, Sorry. I'm going to give you a plug. Sorry. He also took him into Arnie's when Simon had Arnie's. Right. How many pubs you had? Two. We had this last week. He's winning three, two. Two pubs, 14 <laughs> years. Three pubs, 30 years. End up. Right, listen, listen to me, please. Anyway, so cut on story short. I met him upstairs in Monte Cristo. He had a, uh, he lived in uh, Calahonda near Marbella. I remember going there many times with Dawn and so forth. I used to go in the pub where he used to freak up, but never met him there. Met him here in Monte Cristo. What a lovely fella. Ex Coventry, Liverpool 150 games, I think he played for you. Yeah, uh, Forest. Nottingham Forest, etc. Et European Cup winner. Superb. Anyway, but on top of that, the reason why I'm, I've brought it up is because Laurie said he met him when he was downstairs in Arnie's bar. So it was obviously husband, wife husband and wife and they were chatting about referees and Larry Lloyd hated referees he said Howard well, Webb uh, what did he say about him he said he was fantastic yeah that's my uncle he loved him loved, loved him but he seriously um, one of his conversations he did say that um, you're one of the nicest referees I've ever met to Laurie and I went oh Laurie that's nice yeah. so, he's, so Laurie there you are big man there's from your Bedford. plug mate there's your plug I've given you a plug and good luck to the boss you know what I mean so he never sent um, Larry Lloyd off then, no? Eh? He never sent him off then? No. 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 Eh? Well, he wasn't in that standard, was he? He wasn't in that but standard, he, but, no. he, but he has, he does play, he has, uh, he was at Chelsea. What's he did in that standard? He refs my games, what are you talking about? Yeah, but you know, and that's dog and duck style <laughs> yeah. Don't did. mess around with a dog and duck, <laughs> mate. He was a fourth official at a Chelsea game. That was his highest, well, that's thing, good. I think, if I remember. So that's all good. So, Laurie... So, sorry to Doreen last night. I'm very sorry, Doreen. What? But we had to beat you. I didn't want to say her name because I, I knew you were going to say something like that, so it is way. Sorry. Doreen, love to you, darling, for the three of us. Right. Is there anybody you want to say hello to quickly? Birthday to somebody yesterday? Come on, sort it. Yes, sir. No. Come Happy on. Happy birthday, Vicky, for yesterday. Happy birthday, <laughs> birthday, Vicky, for yesterday, darling. Even if you're all man, don't worry. Do you know we ended up last nah, night? No, I nah, don't. Do you know where we took her last night? Uh, <laughs> Listen fish, to this. Probably dogging up fishing chip shop. In Los Cristianos. Well, as you know, she's oh, yeah, adventure restaurants. Oh, yeah. So, yesterday we got roped into. They had to, didn't they? Because they get big discounts. That's the only reason we right. go. No, 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 no. Listen, listen to we, the story. We got roped into doing a photo shoot for the new jungle theme thing they've got in Grand Sur. So, we had to sit there, me and Vicky, eating, <coughs> drinking, while they filmed it all and took loads of photos. And the girls, Sophia and Scarlett, so, did it as well. So Lovely. It's going to come out soon, all their media, us sitting there doing a photo shoot for their restaurant, right? The so, Liverpool shoot so, on. Uh, I'll, I should have been, honestly. Oh. So we've done the photo thing and obviously give us loads of free food, so we're supposed to go to Taipan last Free, night, free. But we never went. Why? So, we were full up. We had all this food, didn't we? Given to it. Anyway, end up going to the theatre bar, having a quick drink with Bobby. Bobby Baker. And then we happened to the table jug watching the City game on her birthday. <laughs> on her birthday? <laughs> if I'd done that to Angela, <laughs> she would kill me. Dawn would even... Dawn would even Angela I'm... would absolutely but Vic, kill me. you know me. we're going out on Saturday night, didn't you? So, um, Where are you going? Tire pan. <laughs> we're supposed to go last night, but <laughs> that'll be a freebie. That'll be a freebie as well. Just rebooked it. Well, uh, I'm only going out on Saturday night if I can afford it. All right, so shut, right, shut up. Maybe one of them nags you give me a tip for comes in. <laughs> yeah, I've got some coming up. Very, very good. People. Right, here we go. This is it. Then we're going to finish off. Now. Anybody want to say hello to you, big man? Yeah, I'd like to say hello to Russell and Tracy. I see him in the village this morning, and um, 
I met them a few years ago when they had Arnie's bar and they were loyal, loyal punters. You had Larry Lloyd in there, didn't you? Yes, I did have Larry Lloyd in there. And then when I had <laughs> the Mad Hatters, they came in there then as well. And I see them this morning, it's great to see them. Yeah. I see them, with, see them with a father-in-law and absolutely superb. Big shout out to them, lovely to see them. Ah, one other shout out is to the other daughter, Frankie, Francesca. She's, Francesca. Uh, Major D at the bank, which is a nice restaurant in London. Oh, yeah, the new one, the new venture. While I was out on Vicky's birthday last night in the Toby Jug, only go quality places, me, mate, you know what I mean? Um, she sent me a, a picture and it was a Phil Thompson. She said, Dad, do you know this bloke? He's in the restaurant at the moment oh. having a meal. Phil oh, Thompson. big nose. Yep, uh, Pinocchio. Anyway, funny story is years and years ago, Phil Thompson was out here. As you know, he's got a place here, hasn't he, right? Do you want to know where it is? I know exactly where it is. I've met him a few times. Right. There was like you a, do. A, a youth tournament out here. Uh, up at T3. Yeah, I know, I've been there. Johnny. Liverpool had a team in Tenerife. I think. Oh, God! Hurry up, hurry up, come on. Real Madrid. And Phil Thompson was there. I got talking to Phil Thompson. We're in injury time then. Right. So I got talking to Tomo. Anyway, a year or so oh, later. Tomo. He was doing a book signing in Liverpool. And I got my mate to go and get him a book signed. And um, I've got the book indoors. It says to El Tell. And mate said to him, You know what? I met him in Tenerife. Cockney fella goes all over Europe watching Liverpool. He went, I remember him. So, is that it, Thompson. Is that it? Listen, he's bigger than people you say, you know. My um, my uh, guy used to come in the pub, uh, World Famous Garden Bar. His apartment what was... Pub, what pub is this? One, two, or three? World Famous Garden Bar. Is it one, the, two, or three? Number three. Why they, is it World their, Famous three? their apartment was opposite him. Why is it World Famous? Because I've had Paul Scholes, Bobby Lennox, Ian Durant. Why have you started there? him off? Swingers Night, wasn't it? Yeah, Why have you started him off? Come on, I've had all the name boys in there. Swingers Night was good in there. Tell, he's the biggest big name dropper big, big, in town. Big Ron Atkins, uh, Big Ron Atkins. I've had them all in. I've had them all in. I'll tell you. You've started him <laughs> off now. But I mean, no, listen, I know exactly where his apartment is, where the market is, opposite in that corner. You're a stalker, aren't you? Yeah. Right, that's it now. We're finishing now. All I want to say have is. Have you met him? Be, of course I've met him. What did he say to you? Hi, Webby. And what do you say? I don't speak to Cough fans. After he said, I'll see you, Webby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't speak to well, listen, listen, yeah, Right, listen, before we go, things coming up and things that's happened. Coming up tomorrow, live here in well, London. You're, you're not coming up, are you? No, 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 nothing's sure. <laughs> wrong. Yeah. Stop it, you two. It'll be 9.30 Viagra. tomorrow morning. Well, yeah, shut your mouth, you cockney scouser. 9.30 in the morning, live here in Laura's Bar with me, with my CD Tenerife. Uh, what's his the name? Tony Chris, the General Chris Todd. Uh, that's live tomorrow. We're all talk about sport. We've got the horse racing, fancy, rugby league, rugby union. Horse racing. Everything. Make sure it comes in this week. We've got Told boxing you. from Johnny Goggles. Now, listen, if you're Scottish... And yeah. you know it, clap your hands. And you know it, <laughs> <laughs> if you're a Rangers or a Celtic fan, watch yesterday's vlogs. I went to the Irish Bar, Hoops Bar, and I'm trying to find out who is the biggest Scottish football club in Scotland. Is it Rangers or is it Celtic? I did that yesterday. Three great vlogs. Get on there, do the views. The more Celtic get, the more Rangers get. Whoever gets the most vlogs by Sunday, when the big game starts, will be, as far as I'm concerned, the biggest Scottish football club in the world. End of and beyond the next show. Were there any? Oh, unbelievable! Biggest Scottish club in the world. Yeah, you mean biggest Scottish club in Scotland. Scotland. That's what I meant. Did I? Yeah. Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I? Who's won the most trophies? 50. Rangers. No, Celtic. No, well, the, Rangers. The, the, Rangers have won the most trophies in the whole world. Yeah, Tell yeah, that to Paul Stewart, and he'll give know, you one on no, the chin. Fifty-five Celtic, fifty-three um, Rangers is the is the league title. Well, Celtic's won a European Cup. Yeah, yeah. back in sixty. Yeah, that's. I that. don't start Paul Stewart off. Tell. Let, let's come and let's go now. Paul Stewart, we love you, big Stewart's man. And you, Jim Donaldson. That's worth five leagues. That is a European Cup. Hey, all my Rangers, pal. All my dominant Celtic. You They're know, massive you've got you massive. Yeah. You've got big uh, Steve Hoops Bar. Uh, all the gang. Any predictions for the weekend? Oh, flipping hell, probably a draw, but you know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not predicting nothing. No, I, you can't. I just want Rangers to win and pull straight I went to the happy. Airbus bar yesterday, do the interview, and, up to, and you know, it said, they're open at nine in the morning. Yes, yeah. and, and no kids allowed. It says Rangers versus them. Yeah, and That's no kids it's, allowed. Oh, no, unbelievable. It'll be, it'll be jumping. Well, I, I just want Rangers to win for my mate Jim Donaldson, my yeah. mate Paul Stewart, yeah, I know. John Robertson, Carol Robertson. Yeah. You know, I want, I want Rangers to win. Right, I've got, we got to go. Sorry. I think the batteries are running out, and we'll have you. See That's you later, guys. Well, Take care, everyone. Yeah, my batteries. <laughs> Webby Sports Radio here in Sunny Tenerife. Subscribe and tick that little box to like, please. Don't forget, give Foggy some love. He's my Tottenham fan. He's my number nine. Foggy, nine. you know it makes sense, mate. <laughs> He's my number 99. 
Give him a big shout. Give him some love and get into our Facebook page. Him. That's what we're doing, right? All I'm going to say is, for me, Coventry City, number one fan in the world. Love you, big boys. Are you going back for the semi-final? I ain't telling you. We got Leeds United this are weekend. You going, you're not, are you? I can't because I'm going back. So because... you're not the number one fan in the world, are you? No, because I've got my son is having their second grandchild. Yeah, he's got to go back a... for the So I've got to go you're back for that. You're mate. You can go back as long as you want. I don't get free tickets like you do. So for me, Webby. He was offered free tickets. I'll see you all later, Webby. Sports Roundup.